Ooh. A little bit dizzy. Mm, mm, mm. Hi there, it's Final Burns here. Listen, I am just about to head off. That's a lie. I'm pretending I'm about to. It's already happened and I'm back. Spoiler alert. This is the journey, the story of the journey. This is a journey through storytelling of my journey north to the subject of not this video, but the one after. Woo! Foreshadowing! <clears throat> I had some car troubles, so I thought this is the story of that on my journey north to the New Zealand International Juggling and Circus Festival. It's basically a two part story. Two part story, and this is part one the pre story, prequel to the real, real quill, the actual quill, future, future quill, nigh quill. Ooh. No. This is that story. It's Vinyl Burns. I'm on my way to the New Zealand International Juggling Festival. So I thought I would theme my conversation with you with this very circusy flavored stage curtain. Now I don't want to blow the illusion for you, but I'm actually in an exclusive resort retreat uh, currently just at the moment. I have breaking my journey halfway between where I live in the deep south wire upper city, Mountain Borough Central, to Tauranga, which is where the festivals happen. You're gonna spend some time just chill by the lake. Uh, it's very humid and damp. I'll show you some of that. So you see, uh, maybe about maybe a week ago now, six, seven days ago now, I was in the big Wellington city driving with my vehicle and I stopped somewhere and I got out, got back in, I started up, beautiful, started up, went to wind the window down and the windows, and the win window, windows, 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 the windows ain't moved, they're electrical windows. Turn that like suddenly for no inex no explicable reason that there were the electrical windows that just were not working. Wasn't a huge problem, although it was really humid. Kind of a problem. And the sunroof still worked. Still work. I'll fix it later, but things to do. Keep on going. So the next thing that happened was uh, over the next course of the next few days, uh, every time I went to start the car, it would just not quite have the power that I'm used to. I like a powerful startup, so you know where you are when you're getting going. It just wasn't delivering that, which in hindsight I should have thought more about, but in real sight I actually didn't. Later on, you see, I was coming to pack up the car, loaded my equipment for this adventure that I'm currently on. Brought, 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 brought the car around the front of the house, because that's where my loading bay and sort of in-out yin-yang flow is. Loaded it all up, went to start it up and bring it around the back. No ignition. Well, I came up with a plan, okay. I thought I would take the battery out, can't get it round to where I charge the whole car. Take one of the two batteries out of the car, drive, put it in back, charge the battery separate overnight, give it enough juice to start it up in the morning. The rest of the car can sit out in the weather it's designed to sit. <sighs> so that was my plan. So that's what I did. Now what I didn't really realize was that the power generated in battery by charging never going to be sufficient. So I ended up with an insufficient battery charge, which ended up not starting the car. So you know what I did? I called the man. Oh yeah, did I mention that my hypothesis was that the electric windows had shorted out and that that was somehow draining the battery just incrementally, little bit by little bit, which would eventually lead to the problem I'm about to explain. 
so the AA man he come out and he took a look test turns out a problem with the windows is a switch that locks the windows I had switched that off so the window didn't work so the windows weren't draining the battery so that was good So now that we've kind of solved that problem and realized that the windows weren't actually shorting out and draining the battery, we went through all the pros and cons of how to approach it. It sounded like basically the batteries would be dead and would need replacing. But, 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 but because I needed to drive right now to get here where I am today in Telpo, we came to the conclusion. Basically, I floated ideas until he said, yeah, that one, that one's not stupid. That one will work. That idea is a good idea. Good idea, Vinyl Burns. So I uh, came to the conclusion I would drive all the way up here, Telpo, hopefully that would charge it enough to hold on enough to start me up in the morning. So I can do drive, charge, stop, sleep, start up, drive, charge, stop, sleep, start up, drive, charge, stop, sleep, start up. And do it again. So far that seems good. However... Just as I was driving into Taupo, I was looking around the skyline. I looked up and I noticed the dash light, the little light above the dashboard to show you if you're getting things out of the seat at night time. It was on. And I didn't turn it on today. I didn't turn it on yesterday. I might have turned it on about six days ago. Yeah, so that's kind of how it all went down. Turns out I had turned the switch on by mistake, stopped the windows going up and down, so that wasn't the cause of the problem. And then also, I think I left the light switch on, so that also was what was causing the drain on the battery. Anyway, car's parked up, has been driving for five and a half hours, so battery should be full. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Have a nice night in Taupo. Wake up in the morning. And if you see the episode after this where I'm actually at the juggling festival, then you'll know that I got there. So that's potentially a happy ending. All right. Ciao, ciao. Woo! And now, Jigglepuffs, I am back. And if you click on the next video, like and subscribe and all of that, then you will get to see part two of this first part of the story. The story that I'm actually alluding to, which is frankly probably more interesting to watch, but you've watched this one now. So... <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned or just click next to be able to flip right on over to the Juggling Festival video. Fruitier than this, I'll tell you that. Anyway, talk too much. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.